Take a shower, make some food, get back to work. Let's go. We've all heard the phrase, you are who you surround yourself with. If you have friends who are lazy, who watch porn, who play video games all day, and that is who you're going to be whereas on the other hand if you surround yourself with powerful men who go to the gym who want to make money who are always working hard then that is who you're going to be inspired to be so find some friends who are going to push you in every aspect of your life right and keep them close that energy is contagious as you can see i'm not in my mom's house anymore right i've moved out with two guys who are also obsessed with self-improvement they're very like-minded to me and they have a very similar mission to me as well. Now this is accountability on steroids. Why? Because men thrive in competitive environments. If my friend wakes up at 6am to go to the gym and I'm still in bed, I'm going to feel lazy. It's going to be a lot of pain, it's going to be a lot of challenge and competition. This is the corner of the living room where we're going to keep all of our workout equipment. As you can see, you have the boxing stuff, belt for weighted dips, you have the belt for neck exercises, ab roller, foam roller, parallettes. Up here we're going to put a whiteboard which is going to help us stay accountable, we're going to track our habits, it's going to be a leaderboard to see who's done the most workouts in a week, to see who's worked the hardest. It's going to be a competition to see who's at the top of the food chain. Overall this household is just going to be an environment which is very conducive to progress, to hard work. We're going to be constantly motivated just because everybody around us is pushing themselves. This is what you guys need, you need to have people around you who are going to continually motivate you to be the best version of yourself. How much are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want out of life? See, without sacrifice, there's no progress. There's no reward. If you want to get in shape, then you have to go to the gym. You have to sacrifice going out. You have to sacrifice junk food in order to build your body. If you want to get more intelligent, you need to read books. You need to sacrifice video games and Netflix in order to increase your knowledge. Anything that is worth having in life is going to take sacrifice in order to acquire. I don't have any social media accounts. I don't watch porn, I don't play video games. All I do is work, train, sleep and eat good food. This is what's necessary for me to get to the next level in life. I don't indulge in anything that's not going to help me make forward progress in life. There are certain things in my life that are just non-negotiable. I have to work out, I have to read, I have to meditate, I have to do all of these things every day because I have a vision for where I want to be in life and because I'm not there yet, I have to do all of these things to get there. I don't understand how some people don't get frustrated at where they are at in life. If you are not where you want to be, then you need to be doing everything in your power to get to where you want to be. You see, men, men don't do what they want to do. They do what they need to do. It is necessary for you to stop indulging so much in these instant gratification activities and start delaying gratification. How much comfort are you willing to sacrifice to reach your goals? How much pain are you willing to endure? Don't sit around complaining about your situation if you haven't done anything that will move you closer towards your goal. It's input versus output. If you have a shitty input, then your output will be shitty.
Stop being a slave to your desires. Get rid of all the temptation in your environment. Start taking life seriously. Because you know you have goals that you want to reach and if you want to get there, then you have to make sacrifices. 